What's going on YouTube? Scram here, coming at you with some more RC action. Now today, we got the SBR 2.0, and we're gonna do a speed test slash comparison. We're going to test out the Spectrum Smart Technology batteries, 100C, 5,000 milliamp hour, and these kind of generic ones that I have off uh, Amazon, these RC Power 100C, 6,000 milliamp hour batteries. They're both 4S, and they're both technically 100C. Granted, these are a little bigger, they're soft pack, but the amount of milliamp hours shouldn't matter. We're just going for how fast they can discharge, which should be the same. And we're gonna just race down my dedicated uh, speed run spot here. I'm hoping to get around 50 mile an hour. And I got my GPS we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna get this booted up. I'm probably gonna zip tie it somehow onto the back of this. And then we're gonna go over the scores. So bear with me while I get it together and we're gonna start this off. All right, guys, and here we go. We've got the Spectrums locked and loaded, plugged in. Got myself a couple fresh Vitavon parts, slowly but surely transforming it into a Vitavon machine. But without further ado, let's get this baby on the ground. Speed test started. Try to ease into it. Full speed. Woo! Ooh, brakes are touchy. Full speed and slowing back down. Full speed. Oh, that's everything. That is all she wrote right there. Holy cow. It's moving. Let's see if we can even see anything from here. Wow. I can see it. Can you see it? 58 miles an hour. So I believe it's been a while since I actually looked at the box. I think it said 50 plus. I do believe 58's a pretty darn good result. We got our average speed there just in case. So I'm going to stop it, save that one, and then restart it and try to replicate it. We'll do this a couple times with the Spectrums and then we'll do the same thing with the generic RC powers. So start again oh we got company down there it looks like she sounds good though she does sound good there we go oh man almost got myself now let's see what we get here what are we getting that's if it's confirmed, we should get close to 58, just like it was for the first time. Here we go. Bringing her around. Again, 58 mile an hour. I guess that's going to be our top. 58, that's not bad. Full speed. And slowing her back down. Bring her around and see what's going to be the magic number. Is it going to be 58 again? 58. That's pretty consistent. I guess we can call it 58. All right, guys, here we go. We've got the spectrums out. The RC powers are in. GPS back on. Let's run a trip time, same thing. See if we can get any different results or if we come up exactly the same. Ooh, man, I don't know, guys, that was... Ooh. All right, what do you think is gonna happen? What are we gonna get? And here we go. Let's look. Oh, 57. Average speed of 18, 57 mile an hour. So one mile an hour slower. All right. This is why we're going to do it three times. We'll double check and see. So again, that one was saved. And we're off again. 
There we go. We're going maxed out. I don't know, it's pretty close. Stopping. Let's see. Oh, oh, 59 miles an hour. So we did get one mile an hour faster. So the first run was one slower. The second one was run one faster. So we're gonna stop it, save it. All right, she's running. It's all reset. Let's try it one last time. And slowing her down. Jeez. Ooh, she's way down there. Give us a better run up. Full throttle. Woo! Let's come back over. Well, look at this. 58 well guess what i guess that means it balanced itself out can you believe it all right so let's stop it save it and we're going to actually go into this app and look a little more in depth if we can here once we get in better light so see you in just a sec all right guys and here we go here's our three trips with the spectrums so 58 58 58 that's pretty consistent that's pretty great and the three trips with the RC power batteries, 58, 59, and 57. So they were all consistent. Uh, there was a little change with the RC power batteries, but not enough for me to be concerned. Uh, I think that's pretty good. So neither company lied. It seems like it was consistent power all the way through.